What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Bullis Gotti. You know what I'm saying? New day, new dollar stack. New dick for your mouth, for way to swallow that. You know, I'm outside, out and about. This video here, I'm gonna dress, I'm gonna dress. Yeah, so, you know, the white boy done lost his mind, man. You know what I'm saying? He out here calling P a rat and the next two times, everybody a rat, but he. He still ain't talking about why he and mine W. Mully paperwork. Him and Corey King and Shot Cloud. Why is he and all these niggas paperwork? You know what I'm saying? Like, on this car. Why is he all up in their paperwork? You know what I'm saying? Not only that he all up in their paperwork, but, you know. It's kind of crazy that he got so much to say about the culture and he not even a part of the culture. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the shit that bewilders me. You know, a nigga, a nigga that ain't a part of the culture is going to tell you about the culture. and going to tell you who's a rat. And he did what every white person in his community does. Come on, my man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in his community, first thing they do, they go to Fabo. They go to police. He told, he told on two Latino kids that shot his window. And then still got the nerve to say, he ain't no snitch and he lied. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't, don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that. It's bullshit to me. Because, like I, tell, like I told them, other dude, mother two dudes. You know, I learned from young. When you see five oh, you don't get them no type of conversation. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? He gave the police a conversation. He gave them a reason to say something. And he gave them a statement. He was considered a he was considered an eyewitness. I was never, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that's considered an eyewitness, you all an informant. He was considered an eyewitness. So him to put snitching jackets on Boston Richie, finesse two time, OD Greek, Oakley Greedo. He put all snitching allegation on black rappers, right? You don't see him put a snitching allegation on white rappers, do you? All snitching allegation on black rappers. He's not talking about the white boys that snitch it. He talking about all black people. Like what makes you valid to even speak? And, 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 and I blame Corey King, Shaquille, for being thirsty and jacking them. And I blame, you know, the Remy, the Bozo bitch Remy. Y'all jacked the white boy that basically ain't a part of the culture, bro. He's not even a part of the culture. He's never been a part of the culture. You know what I'm saying? He never been a part of the culture. He don't come from the struggle. He come from the suburbs. He don't, he don't know what it is. He don't know what it is to struggle. His people got money. You know what I'm saying? He lived in the, the suburbs of, of Massachusetts. He lived in the, the suburbs of Tampa, Florida. He don't know what it is to struggle. You know what I'm saying? He joined a gang because he saw a little Wayne in them talking blood and he wanted to be like every other white person talk about blood, but he don't come from the struggle. He's a snitch. He's an informant. He told... And he don't need to be talking about no rats. You know what I'm saying? He don't need to be talking about no rats until he, until he, until he talking about paperwork. You know what I'm saying? He don't need to be talking about no rats until he start talking about his own paperwork. You know what I'm saying? When you start talking about your own paperwork, when you start talking about your own paperwork, you know what I'm saying? When you start talking about your own paperwork, that's when a nigga respect you. But when you don't talk about your own paperwork, and you don't even, you don't even talk about how you foul out and ratted and told and did what you did, there's nothing to talk about. There's nothing even to even speak about from you. There's no gangster, nothing. You was an informant. You went out bad. You know what I'm saying? Any nigga that went out bad, like he went out bad, you went out bad. Son went out bad. And he's a, he's a bird. You know what I'm saying? Any nigga that's sucking that nigga dick just to get on, is a bozo. He ain't putting Remy on. He ain't putting CK on. He ain't putting none of them niggas on. He using them niggas for street credibility. They bozos. You know what I'm saying? 
don't want to ask how I wanted to fade that whole game because y'all niggas look like bozos. Corby King look like a bozo, Remy, all of them. They all look like bozos. You sitting here sucking a white cracker dick for fame. He y'all great white hope. Crazy. Crazy. That shit crazy, my nigga. Like, he they great white hope. That shit bugged out, man. But it is what it is, man. It's your boy Bullets got it.